Well, I've just got back from the photography show in Birmingham, in England. Uh, I say that because we've got a lot of American viewers. Hi, America. Now, I really went, well, I had to catch up with some old friends, but I was also worried about screen calibration, etc. I didn't know much about that. And as I do a lot of critique on the website, learnshots.com, people upload pictures and uh, I critique them if they want. As I do a lot of that, I thought I'd better have my screen calibrated. So I went there to see what the possibilities were, etc. And I met a guy called Richard West. Now, Richard West, he was giving a show um, on the Spider 5 Pro. Right. The Spider 5 Pro, which is, of course, a screen calibration tool. Now, I wasn't convinced. And having watched Richard's presentation, he didn't make me think I've got to buy it. He made me think I can't live without it. Not pushing the sale or anything. So I bought one. Thank you, Richard. Anyway, getting home, I loaded it on, a bit excited, and we'll see. Uh, I'll show you, I'll show you exactly. These are my three screens. Here we have a very good rendition of my two screens. They are virtually, I mean virtually exactly the same. The difference is this one is a Thunderbolt screen and it's only a year old. Excuse me. This one is an old iMac, the thick version, and oh, it's probably about six years old, doing very well. Now what about a, a laptop? Now I've got my laptop here. I've calibrated that as well. I don't expect this will be the same. Oh, I know it's not the same. Uh, I'll put it at the same angle. It's about there. Excuse me again. Let's have a look. <laughs> well, it's not pretty bad, is it? So I've got the three screens virtually the same. Certainly better than I've ever had before. The great thing is, when I switched them on this morning, I was so impressed that my eyes were relaxed. Suddenly, it was right to look at. I wasn't having to close my eyes. So a lot less tiring on the eyes, having them correctly calibrated. Beautiful. Now, I expect you're saying, oh, wrong glasses. Uh. Now, I expect you're saying, why didn't you show them before uh, you calibrated them? Well, it's very simple. I didn't actually think it would make that much difference. I've been in photography and I've been in colour for, oh, since I was about eight years old. Now, I've been calibrating screens by view, by the Apple system. I reckon that I'm very, very experienced in colour and had no idea my screens were that far out. That's why I didn't do it. I honestly thought they wouldn't, they'd calibrate a little bit, but they were significantly different. And as I say, much better for the eyes. There's not much point in me showing how to use it because they walk you through it. So it's as simple as that. You put it on your screen, download the program, put it on the screen, and it just tells you to do this, 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 and this. The first time takes about five minutes uh, per screen. After that, of course, you do it once a month and it's much, much quicker. I think. <laughs> anyway, Richard will tell you. Oh, one other thing I'm wondering is whether I can't go around all my friends and do their screens or whether it's just set to my uh, IP address. Uh, if Richard's watching that, he might be able to uh, <laughs> let us in on that one. I'd better make a bit of money. <laughs> Cheers!